Hey, Rob here for Quadratech, Moab, Utah for Easter Jeep Safari, cruising down the trail in comfort today. We are checking out four brand new concepts from Jeep. We've got the Willys Dispatch out here, the, uh, the Lowdown inspired by the classic Lower 40 concept. We've also got the Gladiator High Top showcasing a lot of new Jeep performance parts. Right now, I am behind the wheel of the Grand Wagoneer Vacationeer, and I have to tell you, if you're looking to do some overlanding, this is the way to do it in comfort, yet still very capable. Now, of course, Jeep made a few customizations to this vehicle, opened up the wheel wells. It's wearing a set of 35 inch tall tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels. They're a white wheel that looks great with this color here they're calling a spearmint. It's got this great pearlescent finish to it that when it catches the sun looks beautiful. They carried that white theme up through the top with a rhino lined white top to give a little added protection when you're carrying additional gear when you're headed out for a longer trip. Up front, you've got a hidden winch behind the bumper along with some laser lights to take care of any nighttime trail driving you might do. Of course, comfort though is the name of the game with this Grand Wagoneer. I've got the massaging heated seats on right now. This is a welcome treat from our busy schedule this week. Now in the back, they've got the seats removed, so you've got plenty of room for your gear. You can spread out, relax. Up top, there's the Red Tail rooftop tent that actually has a pass through. You can climb into the tent right from inside the vehicle. So maybe you find yourself on a rainy day. You can even have to get outside of the vehicle to get up into your rooftop tent. You can climb up there. You can wake up and check out that amazing view out of the full rear view window of that hard shell rooftop tent. What a way to spend some time out here in Moab, Utah. The Grand Wagoneer, of course, is synonymous with wood grain. And Jeep has brought that back this year down the side with a wood grain pinstripe. It's actually real wood grain. You can feel the grain and the texture right in there. I think it looks great. Again, great nod to the past, to Jeep's heritage with the Grand Wagoneer Vacationeer. And one other thing I really like that Jeep has done, they put the Jeep badge back on the tailgate. Now, when the Grand Wagoneer was released, there was a little bit of a disconnect between the Grand Wagoneer and the rest of the Jeep lineup. Well, Jeep has decided they want to mesh those together. They want to be proud that the Grand Wagoneer is a Jeep through and through, and it's capable. And so now we've got that Jeep badge back on the tailgate where it belongs. Now, if you want to find out more information about the Grand Wagoneer Vacationeer, as well as all of the other concepts and other coverage right here from Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah, you can head over to quadratech.com, check out the Torque blog, follow us along on all of our social media channels, and don't miss out on all of our content right here on YouTube. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail. Right now, we're gonna go spend a few more minutes with some more concepts.